Okay, how you doing? Hey, uh, I want to go over our, our enclosed truck diesel uh, hot jet. It's actually cold water. It's our hot jet unit, but uh, we can do it hot or cold. This one's the 18 at 4,000 diesel powered Kubota turbo. Uh, it's our big bad boy, our big daddy diesel mounted inside an uh, Isuzu truck, nice diesel truck. Uh, it's nice and new. We can do them in your truck or ours or whatever you want to do there. <clears throat> I want to just kind of show you some of the features. So we've got the diesel fuel cap that we've added for the tank for the diesel motor on the inside of the truck. And uh, it's got a 500 gallon water tank. It's got an antifreeze tank. It comes with a heater. You know the Tiger tells. I uh, kind of take a look at the uh, diesel engine. What we like is how you can get at it. You can get at the injectors, you can get at the fuel pump, you know, any throttle. You can change the oil filter. You can pull this panel off and you're right into the radiator, you're right into the, the control box. Uh, we're getting ready to ship this out. This one's very specific for curbside jetting. Uh, you've got your water control, antifreeze system, uh, filtration system right there. You can see the 525 gallon tank. The exhaust port's up and out with the flapper on the top. That's just a insulation uh, cover. Uh, you got rear lighting. And uh, kind of want to go over a little bit on operation too, because we're going to ship send this video with the uh, unit. So you've got water on positions right there, and then uh, antifreeze. Just flip it over. You've got the pictures, visuals as well. So when you're ready to antifreeze, that's the antifreeze position. If it has been antifreeze, you want to recapture the antifreeze in that tank. We're doing buckets, and then you can pour it back into that tank. Antifreezing is nice. You also have the blowout on it, so you can hook a air chuck on there and blow it out on the on the pump. We got Brent and Mario here going to help me. <coughs> Probably seen them in the other videos. We got high dollar video making here. Okay, so this comes with two reels. We've got the one that's hydraulic. You got your in and out right here for the hydraulic. Obviously, that's in. This is out. Uh, I got to talk a little bit about safety. Follow all the safety controls. Don't run this unless you've been signed off on the safety procedures book. And make sure you're familiar with it. Make sure you're familiar with your circumstances and where you're working on out in the field. We can't be responsible if you put your hand here and then hit the hydraulic and you wrap your hand up inside of the reel, okay? And make sure you're you attach your stinger on your, I can't cover everything, stinger on the hose so it can't flip back on you. Make sure your nozzle's on tight. Make sure your hose is marked. And you run a leader hose so you know when you're coming back. So that hose can't come out. And don't start it unless the nozzle's, when the nozzle's on it, up inside the pipe. We're going to run this unit a little bit. Um, water flow valves. These are important. I want Barton to show this. So this is your water flow valve. This is in the off position. It's against the grain of the pipe. Down. <laughs> okay. Uh, that means you're on. That's off. On. That's with the grain. Off. Okay. This is your easy start valve. This is your control valve. When you go to start it, you want it in the open position. When you go to run, you want to close that valve and it sends the water to the hose reels. Both hose reels. This one's got 500 feet of half inch. And we can go bigger, smaller, um, and 300 feet of 3 eighths if you're going to do the smaller lines. Again, this hose is marked and it's got the leader hose on it. Throttles right here. When you start this unit, we want you to throttle in. And you want to have this in the open position. So that's your start position right there. Make sure your other hose reel is in the off position. That's off with the grains on, with the grain with the flow off and on. This unit has remote control, real simple, because this is our cold water uh, diesel unit. And uh, the controls, we gotta get the sticker up here, but when this ships, we're gonna have all the control covered here. You got light switch right here. You've got an override switch that'll override the low water shutoff right here. So if you want to override the low water shutoff, because 
and, and you're going to antifreeze and you want to antifreeze the tank as well. Now this unit's got a heater, but that doesn't mean and if it's really, really cold, you're going to have to antifreeze this system. So if you need to override the low water shutoff, that's a, that's a defeat switch there. If you want to use remote control, that's the auto. If you want to manually start, it's green. Of course, off is right here. Okay, so we're going to turn the key on. It's deep sea electronics. Best remote control there is right here. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, so we use remote control? Sure. Okay, so we're in the easy start position. So you know that's right. Both these are off. Uh, Brent's going to go ahead and hit the auto. Turn the key on, hit the auto, and then you'll use your remote. Yep, so one click. You'll hear it arm. A little click. Second one, we're going to fire up. We're in the, uh, we put the throttle in. Go. We'll turn on some lights for you. Camera, action lights. We've hooked up a warthog to this half inch. Uh, go ahead, Brent. You're going to go ahead and handle the hose, Mario. from the flow to the half inch hose and kind of go out there Shut her down. When you're done cleaning, I want to throttle down. So throttle down. Go to bypass. That. And then this is the hydraulic control in and out. There's out. Here's in. Take a rag, clean that hose. I'm a real nut about having your hoses tight. Now, if you're going to run the other, the 3 8 is exactly the same operation. So we like to throttle it down, let the engine cool down a little bit. And uh, I didn't show how to hook the nozzles on. Make sure you put your nozzle on tight. That's pretty easy. Use a wrench. And we'll, we'll go ahead and, oh, we got to bring that in while we're got the hydraulic power on. <coughs> That's a sweet unit. This is a good unit. So this is curbside, made for curbside. That's a nice roll up door. And, uh, we're, we're good to go. We're going to shut her down. Any questions, call us. Thanks.